hello everyone welcome to altrex tutorials in this video we are going to talk about a very important tool in altrex known as the count records tool so count record tool is present in the transform tab in the altrex it is used to return the count of the number of the records that are passing through the tool now we can use this tool when we want to report on the resulting record uh, or the record count that is being used in the workflow um, it even returns a count of a zero as well so in case you are wondering that how would you get the total number of records then you can do that with the help of the count records tool now uh, you can get that on the entire database or you can apply some filters and get the records that match that particular filter as well so i'm going to show you the example for both uh, let me first get the input data tool and get my data that is stored in this output excel file the consumer sheet now if i just uh, run it right now i would be getting all the records that are present in there that is a total of 5191 records okay now the thing is i'm going to uh, go to this output and apply a filter over here right so let's just use this filter tool here and the filter is going to be a basic filter that is i want to select the segment where the segment value is let's just get a value for the segment uh, or let's just get a value for a, say category that is equal to technology so let me just apply the filter that is for the category if it is equals to technology okay then run this and we would be getting in the true part we are getting 951 records and in the false part we are getting a uh, 4000 some records okay so if you just go to the true part and then go to the transform tab get this count records uh, filter or this count records tool and apply it over here then we just go to its output part okay or basically we just run this tool then what we are getting is 951 as the total because it is only added to the true part if I also connect this false part to here, then you can see it's um, not able to connect because this uh, count records tool only accept one input, right? So to get the number of the false records, we add another count records tool and click on run. So now for this second count records tool, if you just click on its output part, we are getting 4240. That's the number of the records for the false. And this is the number of the records. 951 is the number of records for the true part. In case we decide to remove this filter, right? Let me just remove this filter over here and also delete one of the count records tool. Then what can I do is directly connect my database to this count records tool. Now, if I just run it, then what do we get is 5,191. That is the total number of records in the actual database. So that's how the count records tool works, either through filter or without the filter. Okay next tool that we are going to see is the cross tab tool so let me just save this workflow and move on to our second tool that is the cross tab tool now what is it uh, usage of this tool it is used to pivot the orientation of the data in a table uh, what it does is it moves the vertical data fields onto a horizontal axis and summarizes the data whenever it is specified it is in reverse application of the transpose tool which of course we would be seeing as well so there is no limit on the number of the rows or the columns that can be passed through this cross tab tool okay so for this cross tab tool what i have done is i have taken another database or i have created another database let me just use that because it is fairly small so it would be easier to understand for us so this uh, database is present in the form of a, a named range in excel it has two columns the number of hours and the score so the name of the range is the scores so let me just get that click on ok this is how it is looking it has around 10 records okay uh, it gives us the number of the hours the student has studied and the score that he has scored okay let's just go to the transform tab and get our cross tab tool over here now once we get there uh, it would ask us that if we want to group the data by any of these values so it is all the available data values that are present in the data set if you want it to be a uh, grouped with a specific value you can just select that next is um, if you want to create a value 
uh, or change the column headers so a new column would be created for each of the unique values in this particular um, header so the number of hours then we have uh, values for new columns so these values would be used to propagate the new columns that are created by the number of hours now if you want to aggregate it um, then you can just aggregate it using these all options so what all options we have some average count uh, percent row percent column total first and last so uh, what we are going to do is just go with the total row and a total column and click on run now here um, we just select on the output tab here this is the output that we are getting that is the total of the rows and the columns is 733 if we just um, now instead of uh, getting this total row and the total column I'm changing the method of aggregating values to sum and just deselect them both and click on run now what would we be getting is the record and the um, sum of the scores over here so this is how it is looking so this is basically the usage of the cross tab tool in Altrix now let us take a look at the tool that is very similar to the cross tab tool and it is known as the transpose tool so let me just save it and what is uh, the transpose tool it is actually uh, somewhat different from the cross tab tool it is used to uh, pivot the orientation of the data table uh, it is basically used to transform the data so what we can do is uh, the horizontal data fields would be shown on the vertical axis it is the reverse application of the cross tab tool and it is useful for extracting the non-conforming data there is no limit again on the number of records or the fields that could be transformed so here is the uh, input data part that is same with the um, cross tab tool that we just saw that is the number of hours and the score now let's go to this transform tab and get this transpose tool so when we get this transpose tool these are the configuration panel options that we are getting first is the key columns so from here we can select the columns to pivot the table around this name remains on the horizontal axis with its value replicated vertically for each data field that is selected so let me just select them all next is the data columns now that means that we can select the columns to carry through the analysis so let's just keep number of hours over here and the score over here here we have an option of a dynamic or unknown columns so if you want to go for a dynamic or unknown columns as well you can just keep it checked okay uh, you can just go to this question mark to run about uh, to read about it that is running a workflow can introduce the new columns that were unknown at the configuration time so if you want to include those new columns you can make sure that this option is checked that's for a uh, uh, further step towards security last but not the least we have the missing columns option that means what action we want to take if some of the columns are missing we want to report an error and stop processing the result we just want to throw a warning and continue on with the results or we just want to completely ignore it right so let's just keep it on warn and click on run now what happens is um, if we just click on the output panel this is how it's looking the number of hours uh, is same uh, the name has been changed to score and its value is being shown like this so uh, basically score has been transposed into a horizontal row instead of a vertical a vertical column so this is what the function of the transpose tool is and this is what it has done now if you want you can compare it with the cross tab tool the cross tab tool what it did was it transformed the horizontal rows into the vertical columns now we have these columns for all of these values right but what the transpose tool did was just opposite of the cross tab tool it took the name of the column or the header of the column that was a score and created multiple rows out of it the value for each of that was uh, written over here like the value 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 like this okay now in this transpose tool if we just select all the key columns and click on run once again then what would happen uh, then we would be getting like this no values because we have transposed both of these columns so no of, uh, none of the values are remaining with us okay uh, and let's me just show you another uh, possibility that is 
if I just uh, decide to transform the number of hours instead of the scores value so this is how it would be looking the number of hours would be taking up the horizontal rows and its values would be assigned like this with a value field so name and value it would be taken in the form of a pair so that's all for this video in which we learned about three tools of the transform tab and thanks for watching the video